In this video, I'll show you how to submit project updates, design point updates, and solution component updates to Remote Solve Manager from Workbench. Remote Solve Manager, or RSM, is a job queuing system that enables you to dispatch simulation jobs to local, remote, or distributed compute resources. To update my Workbench project on Remote Compute Resources, I'll right-click and select Properties. I'll set the Update option to Submit to Remote Solve Manager. I'll then select the RSM queue that I want to submit the job to. A queue is a list of compute servers available to run jobs. I can also specify that I want to update my geometry locally before submitting the project update to RSM. Set the component execution mode to either serial or parallel and specify the maximum number of processes to be used by all components involved in the update. Each solution component can further restrict its execution mode to serial and use fewer processes for parallel jobs under its own component level setting. When I update the project, the job will be sent to RSM, which will dispatch it to an available compute server. I can use RSM to update design points as well. I'll right-click the parameter set and select Properties to view the Design Point Update process settings. I'll set the Update option to Submit to Remote Solve Manager and select a queue. I can specify job execution settings similar to those that were available for my project update, specify how licenses will be checked out for the remote job, and specify whether I want to group design points into one job or multiple jobs. I can also submit selected solution component updates to RSM. Components that support updates via RSM include the mechanical application, MAPDL, Fluent, CFX, Polyflow, and IcePack. If I click the solution cell on a system in my project, I can once again set the update option to submit to Remote Solve Manager and specify remote job submission settings, including settings that relate to solution monitoring. Different solution components will have different settings available. When setting up a mechanical job, for example, I must use a predefined solve process setting for the mechanical application to use. To monitor my RSM jobs from Workbench, I'll click Job Monitor on the status bar. Here I can see if a job is queued or running, or has finished or failed. Clicking on a job displays a detailed job log in the lower pane. If I right-click a job, I can perform actions on it. For example, I can abort or interrupt the job. I can save the job report to a file and send it to customer support for troubleshooting. This concludes the video on submitting jobs to RSM from Workbench.